guys, okay, thanks so much for stopping by. This video is going to be a combination of my May and June favorites since it's kind of late to do just May and we're in the middle of June now. So I'm just going to show you pretty much everything I've been really liking, especially for summertime. This could be my summer favorites video too, all in one. Uh, <coughs> woo! I have some stuff that I want to show you that I'm using and I'm really into right now. And I'm going to start with nail polish because I've been really into doing my nails and I've gotten a lot better about painting my right hand, which is usually why I don't do my nails because I have the most shakiest hands. I can never paint my right hand. It's so hard for me. So uh, I do have this hand painted though and the color that I have on here is a Revlon color. It's called Tropical Temptation number 914. When I saw this in the grocery store, it like caught my eye in the corner of my eye I was like I have to get this color it is so perfect for summer if you didn't know corals are super in right now and it's just this beautiful corally pink orange color I love it so once I do my other hand I'll have a full set of nails nice and corally nails the next thing is the Clinique pore minimizer and I don't usually buy from Clinique and I don't know why because their products are great. I have two things in my favorites that I want to show you guys starting with this one. And this is amazing because my pores get kind of big sometimes. I have, especially in my nose area, they really open up. Uh, and when I put makeup on, it really stands out. It makes them enlarged and ugly. I absolutely hate it. So. This, the beauty of this is you can put this on before your makeup or after and it kind of just fills in or just closes up the pores and makes the, the skin a lot more even and, and smoother so that you don't have those like, you know, pores breaking up the way your makeup looks. So you put just a little amount on this and it makes your skin really soft. Really, really nice product. Another thing from Clinique that I want to talk about is translucent powder. I like using it under my eyes when makeup is falling or if I'm using dark shadow but this stuff is really really good to put on as a finishing kind of veil like at the end kind of just make everything more blended this is really good to and if you apply too much bronzer or too much blush something like this will really help it uh, tone down and take away from the excessiveness of your makeup so it's really good to have some loose transparent powder it's really good just for blending out and making a look really even so uh, I don't think you need to invest in something super expensive but this is a really great one and I've seen a difference in my makeup using this powder to kind of just set everything okay next is concealer and concealer is like my favorite thing ever because I love putting concealer under my eyes I, that's the first thing I do in the morning and I've really checked out this Sonia Kashuk odd concealer here and as he really destroyed the top two because these colors are really good for my skin tone these two there's more of a greenish tint one to kind of counteract redness and then there's this one too it has more of a yellowish undertone so these two are more complementary to my skin tone but they're really great. The consistency is really creamy. I like this one for under my eye. This is the lightest one. And for blemishes and anything, redness all over my face. So I really like this quad a lot by Sonia Kashuk. You get these at Target. It's a great little quad for a really good price. And I've had this for a while. And I'm re I've been pulling it out a lot more recently just because my other concealers can be kind of cakey for the summertime. So I think it's really good to have something with a light to medium coverage in the summertime because you don't want too much because it'll show in the sun and and it's important to keep it pretty light. Next is an eyeshadow by MAC and I'm wearing it right now. I, I like this color so much just as by itself. I think it's a great color. I don't know if you guys can see because the sun is super washing me out right now. This is Retrospec. It's a luster and it is really bright. It's just a really nice glittery beautiful color all over the lid I did it and just a little bit up into the crease so eye-catching really just eye-catching I love it I love it love it love it so I like that just alone and then I put eyeliner and mascara that's all I did today and I love just simple the simple look I really like that next you guys know I love bronzers I think I have you know a different bronzer every month for you guys but 
This one I really, really like, and it's by Milani. This is in the shade medium, and it's the bronzer that looks like this. It has some I don't know if you guys can see that. The shimmer, I'm not usually a huge fan of shimmer, but the coloring for this is so, I look so tan when I put this on, and I, I almost like it better than, I have so many bronzers, and I've compared all of them, of course. I like it better than my MAC one. This one I reach for the least, honestly. I know, I feel like I'm sinning saying that because it's MAC and, you know, MAC is always so good. But no, really, bronzer from the drugstore, I I love, look how much it. I love this bronzer and my matte sunny bronzer by NYC, I absolutely love. When you do contouring and things like that, don't use a shimmer one. I would recommend the matte because the shimmer, it won't look right because putting it here, hollowing out your cheeks just doesn't look right. So this is more to give you that tan and glow kind of look with the shimmer a little bit. So that's a good way to go for that. I have MAC brushes, I have Sigma brushes, and other random name brushes, but I never think that this brush gets enough credit or this brand name. And if you've heard of Eco Tools, then you know it's from the drugstore and they come in that little kit. I love this brush from it. And the other ones are great too, but especially this one. This is the powder brush or the bronzer. I use it for bronzer and for blush. It's just a really good size and the bristles are so soft. So soft. And I haven't noticed very much shedding at all because that's kind of a problem when you usually get brushes from the drugstore. So I like applying my bronzer it just really applies the powder really nicely to my skin and uh, I really like this brush a lot for drugstore really great brush and goodbye I'm really into the Juicy Couture perfume uh, this is more of my summer and spring kind of perfume and before I, I remember I showed my Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume that's like my winter fall smell I guess that just reminds me of like you know like a smell can like bring you back to a time, like when I smell my daisy one that just reminds me of cold and like that time. This one, more summery, uh, very, a lot, a little bit lighter, but I don't know, it's just really good. You de definitely noticeable. I like, I like perfume to be noticed still, so it's perfect. I love the Juicy Couture one. And I'm getting low on it. Perfume goes by so fast, it's scary. So I have that. And then last thing is... Sexy Curves Mascara. You guys probably all seen this crazy mascara packaging. Rimmel London. Uh, I always stick to L'Oreal Voluminous uh, Mascara. I, I'm very bad about branching out with mascara, so I did pick this up once I had my Carbon Black Voluminous Mascara for three months. It's good to change your mascaras every three months because bacteria will form, they dry out. It's good to just keep them keep changing them for your eyelashes so the sexy curves mascara if you guys haven't seen it, it looks like this with the wand it has like three humps on it it's really good to just wedge into your lashes and and grasp each one and pull them apart so that they're spread out it's really good for lengthening I was really impressed because I love my L'Oreal voluminous carbon black uh, so it was really hard for me to check this one out and I really like it a lot. This is a great mascara. If you guys don't have it, you should check it out. It's really good. That's kind of it right now. So I hope you guys found this helpful and let me know if you have any questions. I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye.